Welcome everybody, welcome to We Play On This Gaming. Today, we're starting over. So, yeah, I went into the old save, and guess what? It's gone. Every car's gone that I had. Uh, the buildings are gone. Everything's on the floor, and the cars are gone. I walked, went to the garage, and, like, the lad was stripped apart, like, in pieces. The roll cage was over here, blah, blah, whatever. I almost rage quit, and I thought of you guys. Here I am. So, uh, yeah, so we got this hoopty doopty, and uh, we're back to square one. Check that one off the list. No. I'm going to try to make the best of this. I don't know how long it's going to take, but hopefully, you guys enjoy it. You know, it's good welcome back type deal, but anyhow, I worked through it, and. I don't know. I uh, say we take this, we try to unhoopty it, and try to get some money, because I am flat ass broke. Now, look at my frames for a second. Now, when you have a brand new game, look at the frames. Like, I'm at 190 something. Now, normally I'm like 30, 40, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, it's kind of a little jittery. It's fine. Uh, but. Whoa. Hello. That's new. Okay. We're going to work around that. That is nice. I'm loving that. Holy moly. Okay. Some things have been added that I have no clue. I guess we're going to find out together. If you've already known. Thanks for, uh, letting the homie know. So. All right. Um. Man, this garage is tiny compared to what I'm used to. So, um, I need to move that lift because that lift is going to hinder me. Where is my move tool? I have no clue. Anyhow, like all my settings are changed. I, steering wheel still works. That's good. Uh, I guess we'll move this back a little bit. Eh. Looks fine. Okay. Let's get in this hoopty doopty and uh, let's make the best of it. She is loud. Uh, first, first things first, we need to go get a uh, sledgehammer because uh, it's now working. So. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, still got it. truth. Oh, I can buy it. Uh, it don't fit in the backpack. So, yeah, I mean, it's, this is going to be a rough time. I mean, starting over does suck, but you know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll mess around with it. Hopefully I can get it back. I don't know. I just did that right now. I don't have time for it. Right, what is this? Okay. 
right, we need that. We need all the money we can get. I'm not even gonna set the e-brake. I'm just gonna open up the trunk. Stuff her in. Hopefully it fits. I don't know. Get in here. Okay. It's in there. Watch, I'll forget about it. for the girls we date all right let's get out let's get this up up in our teeth and let's see what 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 we're working with here um i noticed the floor pan's a little wonky it's obviously been wrecked so okay what do we got here It don't look too bad. It is damaged a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's going to be a, a quick and flip them. So, obviously got some suspension. It's going to need a rear end, some leaf spring. Well, at least one leaf spring. And some body maintenance. Maintenance. Ma maintenance? Manson. Yes. You know what I'm getting. Anywho. Um... It's been so long, I don't even know what to do anymore. Uh, but I guess we're gonna start on the rear end. Get this bad boy off there. All right, so this should be just a quick, hopefully just a quick, uh, Yank the rear end out, switch the housing, fix everything that's broken. Probably needs axles, seals, you name it. But we'll get it out of here. We'll see what we're working with. Now, I do have to replace this lease brand, all that. Just that, just that. Pull the rear end out. All right, so we got a good gear. Got a good axle there. Good axle there. Brakes are good. Just, we didn't see this one. Because we're on a budget. Um, clear that. So we are in a BART. We have the V8 flavor. Okay, suspension. We need a housing, rear end housing. Where'd it go? All right, so we need a lease spring. Got it. Two upper control arms, I've seen that. There's the housing. Okay, let's get this replaced. Well, not replaced, everything's swapped over. Uh, we need a screwdriver. Will it pop off there? Yes, it will. Well, at least you know the brakes still are okay-ish. Uh, she's not going to be 100 percenter. Uh, she's just going to get some jingle in my pocket. So, I don't remember what I actually paid for it, but... Okay, Ren, you could quit moving at any time. There's that. Stop moving. 
I'm going to slap that back on. We're just going to blind eye that one. Quit moving. All right. So, yeah. Okay. That's out. Alright, there's that. Um, can we get that off here? Boom. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Uh, another thing that I was having an issue with is everything falling to the floor on the other garage. So, I mean, this is, ever since I built that garage, or that big old garage, it was kind of a thorn in my side anyways, so... Uh, I guess this isn't all bad, but it's nice to go back to normal. Um, you know, I mean, it was just everything I did over there was irritating. Everything I bought would fall to the floor. And then when it falls to the floor, it went down to the water. If you are not, don't, don't understand what I'm talking about. It just fall into the, yeah, you wouldn't get it back. So. Here we are. I almost thought about doing a hard start, but I don't really, I didn't like it. So, all right, let's get this leaf spring out of here. Let's get this thing. Uh, where is it? There it is. Now they did say because they took the uh, the fifty seven Chevy out, and they no, oh, I was not throwing that in there. Um, they said the cars would disappear, so the fifty seven Chevy is gone for now. Uh, I can rebuild it. I do have the decals and stuff. I mean, all it is is a plain old Jane old fifty seven Chevy. So. Uh, I would hope I had the rear end in my hand. There we go. But I'm here. I'm alive. I'm doing a lot better than what I was. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, I was sick. And uh, yeah, I was I was married to a chair for four days. Over uh, Christmas time. Uh, the holiday's been crazy, so, but I'm back, I'm here, hopefully you guys miss me, if not, I, under I understand, but, yeah, for me to do this stuff full time, there's, there is really no way, um, not working, three kids, it just, it don't work, so, okay, but it was nice to actually, uh, spend some time with them, get to hang out with them, wow, that tire's about bald, I might throw some flavor tires on it. You guys will just have to wait and see. I do have some uh, stuff up my sleeve. And you guys will just have to uh, subscribe to find out. Or if you come across me on YouTube, click on one of my videos. You might learn something. Okay, so we need the upper control arms replaced. Uh, yes, definitely need a manifold. Yep. And then we work on the motor. But you guys are what make and break a channel. So if you watch it, that that's what helps. So watching content helps the channel grow. Watching it all the way through helps tremendously. So Okay. 
That one was broke anyways. She was bad. Okay, there's that. I knew it was her. Okay. So, really all we need underneath is a torsion bar. Got it. Now I need the pry tool. Drop that over there. Go over here. Grab that. Spin over here. And chuck it out of there. There. Everything's done underneath there. Besides brakes. I mean, come on, really. Who needs brakes? They're so overrated. You only need them when you stop. So, man, that's gonna be that is, that's gonna be hard to get used to. But I like it. Okay, what do I do with my wrench? I don't know. I have to throw it. Next on the list, uh, when the store opens, is a toolbox. Okay, that's it. That. All right, let's see. Hmm. What did I loosen in here? Nope. Got it. All right. Set that aside. Whoa. Set that aside. There we go. Definitely going to need a fuel line. Now, do I want to put some horsepower in this or not? I might need a belt too. Definitely a pulley, upper radiator hose. Yeah, okay. I might replace it. Steering column is shot. Other than that, this side looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, right header. Engine. Need a right. Right. Where is the pulley? Oop. That's the blower pulley. I don't need a blower pulley. I don't want to go down too far. Because if I go down too far, it's going to show you what I've got up my sleeve. All right, if you've seen it, you've seen it. There's a little bit of it I showed. Some of you might already know. You're probably already in the server, but... I'm waiting for my own build car. This is to make money. I don't want to stick it on this. Because I don't think you get anything extra for it. So it's kind of waste. And, you know, if you look up my bank account, I'm kind of broke. Now, if you're used to we play having some money, that I'm used to having hundred, hundred grand sitting in the bank. But I started with ten grand. I guess what it was. I don't know. Okay, let's jack it back up. I believe it's ten grand. So. Could have been more, could have been less. I can't tell you anything on that. It's been way too far. Or too long, I should say. Come on, just fall out. There we go. Titan. Titan. There we go. Okay. Oh, exhaust. Where is it? Okay, I can't, can I get it from under here? I can. All right, fuel line. All 
All right, one more click. Good. All right, backpack. Let's see, does all this fit? That does not. That does. I'll grab that. The other controller. Oh, I must have took it out already. Okay. Dump all this pile of parts there. Throw the wrench there. Now, I do not have the paint booth, so this color is going to be the original color um i don't feel like painting a whole car with the rattle can it's just not me run forest run somebody forgot to set the e-brake okay let's get the backpack out of the way uh, what I do with the move tool right here? Yeah, I definitely have to do. If I'm gonna keep the scratch, I definitely have to do some uh, rearranging. So I normally get rid of all these benches, but one, these shelves, I normally get rid of, and then all this stuff I moved around. But we don't have fifty grand to open that up. So. Let's get this body work done. It's been a minute since I've done this. Now, can I go buy a sandblaster? Absolutely, but we have cars to buy, so. Turn down the game a little bit so I can hear myself think. But, yeah, we got a cart. Oop, hitting the wrong buttons here. We got cars to buy, and we got to make some money fast. So I'd like to buy, I would like to start over on a new drift car, because I, if I can't not get the cars to come back, the Penzoil car is gone for good. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, I know the 57 Chevy is gone. I don't know if it might be gone for good, but like I said, I'll make another one. Kind of does hurt hurt the pride a little bit, but it, I don't know. Like I said, I almost rage quit. So. But I thought of you guys, I know my garage was mainly my channel, like most all my views besides apex point were my garage so i owe it to you guys and like i said before i will always play my garage it's a great game but i don't want you guys to get bored of it either so if you guys are getting bored of it say something and i'll play something else But I'm also getting back to the my roots like when I first started playing this game I mean a lot of you don't a lot of people that are new to the game don't understand the struggle like what how it was You know Yeah, you don't you don't have a clue so It is a hundred hundred percent better all right, where's the hammer? All right, now I gotta make some noise. Gotta get this big old crease out of the hood. And fender. Yeah, I don't know what's all damaged in this car, but I know quite a bit of it is. Okay, a little bit more there. Yeah, 
Now. Whoa, we can look. Okay. I don't I don't know what's going on with this tunnel here. I I I definitely have nothing on that one. Okay. Whoop, there goes the hammer. Yeet. What is that? It? Whoa. It's definitely used, but like new. Yeah, I don't know what they did. Do not have a clue. What that is, but oh, there we go. Close enough. I don't know why I wouldn't do that in the car, but all right, that looks good enough. That and yep, yep, that's fine. Okay, so now that's I. Color condition, overall condition. Eh. We're almost to 20 grand. Let's get this thing painted up. Uh, what color are we? You know what? Let's get the Bondo out. We got to put Bondo on it. Bondo get rid of all these stuff sticking through the hood. It, it's definitely going to be a Bondo buggy. But they won't know. If they don't watch my videos, they have no clue. So whoever's buying it. Don't stick a magnet to it, you'll be fine. Definitely gonna have to get a ring or a fender. What am I opening up here? Oh, that looks horrible. That really looks bad. I don't know what that is. Will it go away? Be gone! Satan! Wow, that was bad. Hello! Anybody home? Get gone. What are you? It's possessed. Alright. Whatever. It's going with the car. Just like that. Alright, let's see. Any more? Oop. Hopefully paint will cover that. Gotta make sure the body lines match up. That's the first thing they look at. Okay, okay. That one's close. That one's ish. Alright, there's that. Ugh. Everything. Okay. Nope. All right. So I need beauty rings for the front uh, body. Scroll to the bottom. Uh, front left. Front right. Okay. No clue what that one was. I didn't even look. This was front left. Okay. So I'm right. And pry tool. Get out the way. Perfect. 
Looks good. Okay, there we go with that. And paint. What color code do we have? Oh, paint, paint, paint. Color. Enter. Okay. Yep, it's still there. Oh well, as long as it gives me five stars, that's, that's all I want. Okay, I guess I bought the paintable trim. That's okay. Kind of actually, kind of actually dig that. Oh, that front panel's wonky, but whatever. Okay, it's a quick flipper. We're gonna make it look. Oh, right now. I forgot to grab more. Got it. Just a quick flipper upper. Uh, whoa! Just painted the motor. So most, some of this, these cars, I mean, since they've done updates and stuff, like to get the color completely or the whole body a hundred percent, you're replacing panels. So so we can start doing some flips. Uh, uh, start doing jobs. Get back to the old days of uh, how it was, and you know I don't have the money cheat, so I could get it, but why? I mean, really? Okay, color go. Nope, definitely not. There's that. Give me five stars. No, you did not. Gotta be that door. Well, there's to it. What is that? That's horrible. That Bondo really bleeds through, don't it? Give me five now. Nope. Wow, the the money actually went down. What? A... You're telling me the trim cost that much? Oh, probably Bondo. That's probably what did it. All right. Um, I need a wrench. I don't know what time. I have on this. I'm just running with it. Whatever time it is, we complete. That's the time it is we complete. So, uh, what do I do here? My videos are too long. Come back and watch it. But I do, you know. I don't just not watch a video. I, I'll i pause it or come back to it. I mean, YouTube does hold it for a while, and you always come back and watch. 
What is going on with this car? I know I did not hit the e-brake. Stop it. I told you this car is possessed. It's going. It's going down the road. All right. Um, I still nothing. Um, uh, I guess it is what it is. Y'all might see it, but by the time you see it, this car will be gone anyway, so. I just can't get over that trim. I added that trim and it's degraded the vehicle. Okay, give me something. Give me a whole lot of nothing, really. That's crazy. Anywho, uh, enough of that. We're going to sell it as it sits. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know where the camshaft came from. I couldn't tell. What is... Alright. I'm getting ahead of myself again here. Okay. Forgot the door panel. Uh, that's got to go down there. So we need a pick -em up truck. I just... I don't know if we can get a truck. We shall find out. Definitely not a truck. Tell you what, that loaded. That loaded a lot faster. These things are probably twenty six thousand dollars or more. 23, close enough. That's about all I have. Alrighty, so we are on to the junkyard. Okay, so now it's loaded up. Uh, the charger mod is broke. I haven't fixed it. I don't know, I might just take it out. But yeah, it does that. So, wee, 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 wee. Anyhow. Um... So... The Impala is now in the junkyard, and so is the Belvedere. Let's see, do we have anything that's somewhat together? Okay, that is, nope. This seen better days. We already did, we just did one of those, so I'm not too going on all that. I would do an F100, but they have not updated in a long time, so. We got a, well, we got a motor. Got a seat. Dude, we can hoopty this thing. How much are you? 14 grand? Really? You're killing me, Smalls. They didn't even come with a back seat. 14 grand. I mean, hmm. The only problem is, I'm not going to be able to get. I'm going to have to buy a clunker junker. Um, I really want to own one of these. They're cool. And I have an idea for it. So, I guess we'll. We'll buy it. Leaves me eight grand. I still have more than I started with. I might do some stuff off camera to make money, but the, that was a total ripoff, man. I knew it. Toad of the garage. Killing me. Wow, you parked it way out here, too. 
Okay. So we're going to press F5. It's going to take a minute. Get my frames per second back up. F5, I have the... It resets the... Um, the stores and stuff, so... If you have issues with that when you're playing your game, I would really install that. Come on, get in the garage. Okay. So what are we working with? No parts in the trunk. Although you could fit like five bodies in there. Backseat. I mean, these are the cars you used to go to the movie theater with and just load it up back in the day. Way before my time, but I heard a lot of stories about it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely digging it. So, to get this thing running in mobile, we're going to need some suspension stuff. Of course, the wrench junk. At least it's all there. I mean, we can run it. Uh, let's do the trick of the trade. Grab this. Slide it underneath here. Yep. Hopefully it don't go flying. Nope. Okay. Get under there. She is low to the ground. Okay. Got a little bit of a twist in her, but she's fine. Okay, so the rimage, the rims that I want to put on this is going to cost a chunk of money. But we'll work at it. With first things first, we need to get this thing running and driving. And then we'll go from there. Jeez, we're going to have to go to the junkyard for some parts. I'll tell you that. Stuff's going to nickel and dime me to death. All right, let's get the tires off this thing. Watch everything fall off. That scrap. Oh, at least a tire. Oh, we had, we had three tires, so really all we need is one. There's one rim, new rubber. Okay. Alright, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? She needs everything. Yeah, this thing does this axle weird. It, I don't know. We got a good axle there and good axle there. Brake is shot on that side. Jeez. We have no breakage on this side. That's fine. Just trying to soak it all in right now figure out what all I just gotta pick something to start so this is Chad um, suspension uh, we're gonna need everything need lower lower rear end Shocks. I don't know about that stuff. Tie rod. Right, let's try that first. Okay, let's get the rear end housing out here. I gotta use the backpack. At least get the stuff out here. So, paint right there. And get rid of the backpack. Okay, there's that. Now, wrench, and then we do the control arms. That's that side. This is this side. That's that. Is 
So actually, the idler. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Right. And we'll do the tie rod while I'm here. Uh, it's only about two tie rods. So, yes, it did. I mean, we could have ran this tie rod, but. Let's get this stuff out of here. That. That's junk, anyways. I mean, at least it's not that, so, that's a good, uh, oop, that's a plus all by itself. I right, need a spindle, hub, rotor, we'll probably do a brakes all the way around, that needs a wheel bearing, yep, needs a wheel bearing on that side. Okay, there's that. All right, spindle. That's really left front. Yep. Okay, onto the rear. Missed some holy spring on that side. I mean, the only thing good on that, but the only thing good on this whole rear end is the axles. All right, so we're doing a whole new rear end. if I want to go doesn't have to be nothing spectacular so Let's just put a regular oh I need a need a leaf spring too okay there's that Crawl in here and grab the other one. You know, I'm being an amateur, really. I should just move the table out here. Okay, so at least bring. I mean, I do have some money sitting here, so I just gotta sell off the stuff. I might do a job and get a car. Or sit there and carry it one by one all the way over there. Okay, so we got rear end, just need brakes, exhaust, I'm going to have to yank the motor anyways, need transmission also, get out of there, alright, uh, shocks, throw that on there. Oh, it's got a bad frame. Great. 
I think we should. I think we can get away with that. I'm not really worried about that frame rail. Body. Metal brace. Gotta have that because the shocks won't hook to it. So we need to switch this. Grab this. Spit one out. Give me the brakes. Okay, what welder that's not set up? Where are the sticks? They're there. Grab the wand. Where'd it go? There it is. And if I feel like fixing it, I'll fix this frame rail. But right now, I'm not worried about it. It is definitely a hoopty. Looks cool. It's dirty. It's rusty. My kind of flavor. So I definitely need a field tank. How much is that? Get a break to bank. Nope. Perfect. Um, how does this work? Why are they going to switch stuff up? Is there an actual tank? How does that work? So I actually have to put straps on it? No, this is Impala feels like what in the world? They actually have the Impala. Oh they do. Okay. Alright. See, I'm learning. It's been a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Looks like a recent fuel cell. Okay. Sorry, I am tired too. Um been busy. Okay, so that's good. No, well, so I guess I didn't need the shocks at the front. Okay. Alright, what else do I need in here? Not gonna do brakes right now. I could put wheels on this and roll it. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. These. Oh, they're already in there. They're in there, but they're broken. Okay. There's all that. Man, I missed the other backpack. Just for this reason. OK. 
Okay, let's get him down. Before I get all too carried away and loading everything up, I need to get this thing running. So I don't know what it's going to take to get it running, but we're going to get it running. I mean, we got a good block. I don't know how long it's going to last, but... We shall find out. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right to the the conclusion here and let's pull this pan off and see what's all junk in here i can already tell you right now just by looking right here i got a bad crank we do not so we got one two three Three bad pistons and bad timing chain. So that looks like gear looks good, timing chain's bad, so we gotta change that. I might as well put a cam in her. Clutch actually looks fine. I don't know without actually taking it apart. Okay, so we might as well do the upper half of the motor. We might as well put the high right, put an intake on it, do some performance. Uh, I don't know, performance heads, I guess. But this has got to come off. Get to the timing chain. Okay, that's out of there. That's how easy it is. Now, I'm going to not be a rookie. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab the table. And I'm going to set it by the parts. They'll spit out right there. Okay. V8 motor. Okay, so we're going to do... Get that out of the way. Now I need the cam. Do the performance heads. Performance valve covers. We just need stock pistons. We'll upgrade the cam. Um, use that. All right, so what do we say? Three. One, two, three. Okay, let's get this up here. Need a pry tool to get the cam out. Look at that. That's nice. I like it. Okay. So, I mean, this, this motor might run. It might just scatter itself. That's fine. Not too worried about it. This gives me a reason to build another one. Where's the timer chain? There's that. Now we can put the timing cover back on. We're gonna need every accessory known to man, alternator, you name it, we need it. So, okay. 
Let's roll this puppy over. Let's get these the bad pistons out of here. Junk. All right, last one. We can put the pan back on it. Won't have to see that again unless I literally blow a hole in the block, but. I'm not worried about that. We need an oil filter before I forget that. That's gonna be I'm stopping right now. I'm getting I'm getting oil filter. I've had bad luck in the past of forgetting about it. So we're just gonna put that on. It's there. Don't have to worry about it blowing up for that reason. He blows up. It's not not gonna be on me. It's gonna be a mechanical mechanical failure. Okay, intake out of there. That rusty junk. Oh, we're going to need rockers and everything. Probably head gaskets. There's definitely not enough K seal in this world to bring those head gaskets around. That's what I thought. We're just going to yeet these out of here all in one. Not too worried about any of it. It is all garbage. Head gasket. Well, that one's good. Still got 100,000 on that one. Wow, look at all the scrap parts. Tap a motor right there. But we have ourselves a clean slate. Double check these pistons, make sure they're all. We should get cranked the motor over. Get this rusty junk off. All right, so I need head gaskets. All right, now I can get the. The head's on it. Be a little performer. That's about it. We can always upgrade. As they're on, now intake. Where'd it go? All right, what else do I got? I guess I could put, I could put the, but carburetor on, although it's missing a chunk of it. Throw the air cleaner on. We can. I'm just trying to throw everything I have parts wise right now on it. 
so it's not in my way. The only thing I can't put on is valve covers, so. Once I put the rockers on, I can. But minus, like, distributor, rockers, plugs, stuff like that, this motor is almost ready to fire. Oil, you know. The shebang. So, since we went with the performer can, or the HP can, I'm going to throw the HP rockers in, just... Just because it looks cool. Might be a stock bottom end, but... Maybe it might hold together. I don't know. We're going to find out. I was always told if you don't build the bottom end, it's not going to hold up. So we're, we're going to test that theory. Send her to the moon. Alright, so we're going to do the... HP distributor. Okay, so I need a water pump, fan, gooseneck, grab a starter because the other one's probably junk. Oil. Yeah, the kids are going crazy tonight. All right. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but they are going at it. Okay, water pumps on. Lower pulley. Need a belt. I don't have a belt. Okay, I bought a belt. Didn't realize I bought a belt, but I did. Okay, this fancy dancy red distributor that won't let me pick it up. Can't put the distributor wires on because I have to put plugs in the head. So I'm probably just going to go with the regular Plano Jano because I don't have. I don't feel like walking. Because my boots are not made for walking. But the thing is like this right here. If I would have did that on the other, the other uh, building, that'd have been gone. I literally had to put like a hood down, or something like that. I mean, it's just it's too much of a headache. Until I guess until they fix the floors, I don't know if I'm gonna build. If I do build, it's gonna be on like this platform. So. I will just build, build the base or the, the walls right on this floor. I won't put a floor down. Okay. So now we are ready for valve covers and spark plug wires. So put the valve covers on first, then I'm not fighting around the spark plug wires. And I lost my wrench. Got it.
I don't think the starter goes on this. I think it goes on, yeah, it goes on transmission. So I will put that right there. I'll forget about it. Okay, we got the gooseneck left. Alright, now we need manifolds. All right, one power plant going in. Honestly, I don't know what's floating around down there. Man, you could so put a tunnel ram on that and it probably still wouldn't stick through the hood. pretty cool so I mean just just the space that I have right there I could do what I want to do so huh all right so we need transmission I guess we could I don't have any fuel in it I'd have to get jerk in I think I'm gonna save it for the next video so I mean we got a pretty good start on it we got a motor in and train Need transmission brakes, rims and tires, you know, glass work. You let me know if you want me to paint it. Or do you want me to leave it ragged? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Uh, I might paint it. I might make it look nice. The, the ultimate goal right now is to fix these things up, flip them. Okay. And then once I get enough money generated up, then I will start keeping some of them. But... The main thing is just trying to get money. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's been a while. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.